Hi everybody, Tim Coffee here. It seems like it's been forever, but I'm finally back posting videos. And as a thank you to everyone for sticking with me, I've put up a couple of free digital stamps on my website. Just go to timcoffeeart.com or click on the link below this video. And just click on the button on the navigation bar on the left that says Digital Stamps. They're free for you to download and use in your craft projects. I'll be using one of these digital stamps in the Serial Box Canvas project, so it's free to download if you want to follow along. I don't know how many of you have used digital stamps before, but just let me know if you need any help using them, and I'll do my best. I started out by measuring and marking two dots, where I'll punch the holes so I can string a piece of wire through for hanging the canvas once it's finished. You can place the holes about an inch and a half or so from the edge and a few inches down from the top of the box. Just make sure when you twist the wires together to form the loop that it's not too long that the wire would show when the box is hanging on the wall. I wrapped a piece of masking tape around the ends of the wires to hold them in place and also so I don't poke myself with them. I closed the box and hot glued the top closed. I wrapped the sides, the top and the bottom of the box in masking tape because this helps to disguise the fact that it's a cereal box by covering up some of the details of the original construction of the box. You could also cover the front of the box in masking tape and this would help to prevent the color of the design on the cover of the box from bleeding through into your painting. Next I painted the whole box brown and the dark color of the brown really helps to hide the graphics on the box. If you just painted it white without painting it brown first, it would be really hard to cover up all those contrasty colors. Next, I used white acrylic gesso and I covered the whole box again. And this final step is what makes it look like a blank canvas. I left a little bit of the brown showing, but it's really a personal preference whether you want to entirely cover up the brown or not. Another option is to paint the canvas black and on this canvas I did cover the entire front of the box in the masking tape and you can see the texture that the masking tape gives. Or you can even turn the whole box inside out and glue it back together. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.